All right, now we're going to use Bridge, um, Adobe Bridge. So if you go to the Start menu and you type in Bridge, you should see it. Um, it's a yellow and yellow and brown icon, similar in color to Illustrator. Um, you are going to use this to make a contact sheet. So find the folder on your computer. So over on the left, we have all of your computer documents folders. So if you click on computer, you should see your, your student drive. If you have your photos saved on that, you can get them from there. Um, if you have your photos saved on a folder on the desktop that you've downloaded from your Google Drive, you can click on that. And then you're going to click on the folder that you want. These are all of the photos that I have ready for a contact sheet from one shoot. This is when I was photographing a wedding. Um, so all of these photos were obviously taken at the same place and I want them all in one contact sheet so I can choose which ones I would like to print um, and work on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the pictures by clicking and dragging over them so that all the pictures are selected. If you don't want a picture from this folder in your contact sheet, you can take it out. So I'm just gonna choose a random one. Um, let's say my friend doesn't like this one because she doesn't think she looks good in it or something. So I wouldn't print that one. So now I've selected all of these. The way I unselected that one was hold down control and click. So you can hold down control and unclick. So I have everything selected that I want to go in the contact sheet. Up at the top on the right, there is a little bar next to Essentials Media, or Essentials Film Strip, Metadata, and Output. So I'm gonna click on Output. And when you click on Output, it has 24 items selected. So everything except for the one that I didn't select in that folder. We are gonna make it a PDF. So you're gonna click PDF, all right? and your template is going to be custom because we're going to work on this together. Um, if you look through this menu bar in the document you can choose international paper which has sizes that don't make sense to us in the US or you can choose US paper and you want letter eight and a half by eleven inches and you want the portrait orientation, not the landscape orientation, unless you really like that one better. Quality 300 resolution. Um, the background is white. Um, if you skip down, you can change the layout. It can go across first or down first. I'm going to choose across because I like them from left to right. Um, columns and rows. I prefer five columns and eight rows. Um, you could do six columns. You could do of a lot of different things and it tells you the amount of space that it's going to have in between everything. If you um, rotate for best fit then it's going to make it so that um, some of them are on their side and it might look weird. Um, you, they'll fit on the page more but they'll, they'll be rotated so I don't like to check that. Um, then if you scroll down you can add some text to this so you're, you want the file name so that you can find the picture later. You can change the font if it really bothers you, but Arial is fine. Um, you can number pages if your contact sheet is really just a number of contact sheets, so it has three pages. Then you can add a header. So this is where you can type the name of your name and the name of your shoot. So I'm gonna put my name. So you have to check add header. I'm gonna put my name right on here and then I'm going to put the title of the shoot so wedding All right you could put your name of your shoot 12 faces you can put that in the right left or center I'm going to choose the center of a contact sheet in the top you can choose the font that that's in you can even add a footer at the bottom but I'm going to skip that you can make sure that you get everything the way you want it. I don't really need any of these things. I don't need a watermark. What I do want is I want to view the PDF right after I save it. So I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to click Save. This one's a little bit faster than um, Photoshop. The automating is quicker. I'm going to type a file name. So it's going to be Gillum underscore S. So last name underscore first initial underscore contact contact sheet and then underscore the title of the shoot so that you can keep them in control. I'm going to put wedding. Save as a PDF. 
you're going to want to navigate to your drive to save this. So find your drive, make sure you save it on that. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Click Save. It'll generate the PDF and then it will open the PDF. So here is my contact shoot. I forgot to name, change the name totally, but Miss Gillum Wedding Shoot. And it has all of my pictures on it. And so I'm ready to print. You can go to File, Print, and find Frida Kahlo and click print. So you're going to change it to Frida Kahlo and then you're going to click print so it has all of my pictures on the sheet. You'll notice this one is a little bit smaller than the one that I did in Photoshop, but either way works as long as you have it saved as a PDF and you have it printed out. And that's it.